we're going to evaluate the integral of sine of 2x. Now, of course, we know that the integral of sine is negative cosine. The only thing that's making this slightly non-trivial is that we have a 2x inside of our sine function. U substitution would clean this up, but for these situations where the inside function is linear, you should get in the habit of doing this without writing out U substitution. It'll save you a lot of time. Here's how you do it. We just have to think about what's the integral of the outside function, for starters. And in this case, that's negative cosine. Remember, that's because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We don't have negative sine, though, so we would need to throw on a negative so those would cancel out. And now inside the cosine function, I don't want to forget that I have 2x. And then we just have to remember that if we were taking the derivative of this, the chain rule would give us a factor of 2 because we'd have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So we just want to add something on here that's going to get rid of that. What we have to do is just throw in a factor of 1 half. And then don't forget your plus c either, since this is an indefinite integral. Then we just want to quickly think about the derivative of this to check our work. If we took the derivative, cosine of 2x would give us negative sine of 2x multiplied by 2 because of the chain rule. And then that negative and that 2 would be canceled out by our negative half. The constant would become 0, and we would just be left with sine of 2x as we desire. Here is how we'd evaluate the integral, carefully writing out our u substitution. I'd say it's more trouble than it's worth in a situation like this. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.